Yahoo Sports Fantasy Minute is brought to you by Lenovo. Candlestick Park hosts likely its final game on Monday night. I'm Evan Doherty here with Melanie Collins. And in honor of the last game at the stick, we're not here to talk about the catch, the catch two, the catch three. <laughs> we're going to write the top five fantasy performances by the Bay. We start in 1992, week seven, and Jerry Rice, number 80, torched the Falcons defense for 183 receiving yards and two touchdowns. He also added 26 yards in the ground and another score. It helped that Deion Sanders missed the game. He was in Atlanta getting ready to play for the Braves in the World Series. Wow. Rice's fantasy total that day, 38.9 points. Pretty good numbers. The guy who threw the passes to Rice on that day and many days at Candlestick. This guy is number four, Steve Young. He clashed with rookie Peyton Manning in the Colts, and the vet won this battle. 331 passing yards, two TDs, plus 60 rushing yards, two more scores on the ground, and a two-point conversion. The Niner QB helped his owners with 41.2 fantasy points. And just over five years later, a guy wearing number five earned a spot on our list, Jeff Garcia. Week 14, 2003 against the Cardinals. Niners won in a blowout thanks to 252 passing yards, four touchdowns, 32 rushing yards, and two runs to pay dirt. 41.3 fantasy points for Garcia, the third best fantasy performance in candlestick history. And the last two here are good ones. And number two is a guy you may not remember, Week 10, 1976, get out your slide rule for Delvin Williams. <laughs> he had a day that may have sparked the idea of fantasy football. 180 rushing yards, 99 receiving yards, three total touchdowns. That's 45.9 fantasy points. Wilfred Wickenbach, the old founder of fantasy football, many say, just hope he had him in his starting lineup that day. Of course, and coming in at number one, who else but Jerry Rice, the greatest wide receiver of all time, delivered the greatest fantasy performance ever on turf at Hunter's Point. Week 16, 1995, the Minnesota Vikings came to town and Rice dominated. 289 receiving yards, 10 rushing yards, and three trips to the end zone. That's a whopping 47.9 fantasy points. Talk about a performance for a fantasy championship week. I'll take that in my two championships this week, Mel. Yeah, I think that'd too. be pretty good. Great memories of Candlestick. We'll see if there's another one on Monday night. For Melanie Collins, I'm Evan Doherty. This is Yahoo Sports. Yahoo!